Each and every day here at Northern Kentucky University, hundreds of students walk in and out of the Dorothy Westerman Herman Science Center. A lot of students may think they know all this building has to offer, but are they aware of NKU's very own herbarium? For more information on this unique process and collection, the Northerner team reached out to the herbarium's very own director, Dr. Maggie Whitson. So the herbarium is basically a pressed plant collection uh, with a few things like fruit and pine cones. And probably about two-thirds of our collections are from the southeastern U.S. and from the states right around Kentucky. So Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee. Uh, we do have stuff from other places, though. Uh, a common way for uh, schools to get different interesting specimens to study is to trade with people from around the country. So Dr. Thray, who founded the herbarium here, uh, was a really avid plant collector. And so over the course of his career, he collected probably about 64,000 specimens. And so um, our total collections here are about 30,000, and he's, he's by far our most common collector. But when he would get more than one of something, he would package it up and trade it with another school somewhere else in the country. Since 2007, Dr. Woodson and student volunteers have been hard at work with cataloging a database of over 10,000 records and 3,000 high-quality images. Anyone can view these images from the link provided on the herbarium's page. Um, I'm a botanist, so really the plant stuff is, is what I'm in charge of. But uh, here in the herbarium slash museum, it's basically all of our natural history collections that we use for teaching and research. So I share space with some large fuzzy animals. Um, we do have zoological collections that are also used for classes. So if students take uh, herpetology, for example, we have preserved reptiles that they can study to learn how to identify uh, things like our local snakes. Right? Uh, we also have algae collections and insect collections uh, stored in the museum. And those all reflect the research interests of various faculty here. If students were interested in, in just working in the herbarium um, or visiting and taking a look, they can always email me and set something up. For all things science and herbarium related, visit nku.edu. Reporting for The Northerner, this is Jason Houston.